The UFC have officially got rid of the flyweight division, which is something that I alluded to when I said Demetrius Johnson was going to leave and go to 1FC. I said, well, if they're going to do that, that must mean the end. And lo and behold, I hate to call myself a genius, but I did predict these things, man. I think Michael Bisbing said it best. This is the end for the flyweight division. There's no more... Um, I mean, granted, there were like seven fighters <laughs> at flyweight. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, do, so do these, are these guys all going to move up to bantamweight now? Or are they going to go out to another organization? Well, that's an interesting question. Somebody yesterday threw around the conspiracy theory as well, because uh, Ray Borg and Joseph Benavides were scheduled to fight this Saturday. Uh, but Joe's, uh, Ray Borg has pulled out, I'm not sure what for, some kind of complications with his weight cut. But that was on the Wednesday and somebody had the idea. I wonder if, because they're getting rid of the flyweight division, the UFC just said, here, there's 50k each for not fighting, there you go. Uh, but what I was going to say was, I remember at the time uh, when the Khabib Connor fight, there was a lot of talk of a new weight division, 165 pounds. And Dana actually came up with a good point. Now, I don't fully agree um, with his notion not to have new weight classes but the point what he said was a good point a reporter said well why don't you want a 165 pound weight class and he said well everybody that can't win a belt at 155 and everybody that can't win the belt at 170 will all go to 165 and he's kind of right there you know what I mean the top yeah. of the food chain in 170 and 55 will stay there the weaker ones will go to the, the new 65 division uh, and I guess that's kind of what you'll see now with the 125 going, all the be better people, the bigger ones for sure will go to 135, like Henry Cejudo, he's fighting Demetrius, uh, sorry Demetrius, uh, TJ Dillashaw, so champ versus champ, even though technically Cejudo might not be a champ then, but that's an interesting fight and kudos to uh, Cejudo for taking that fight, but yeah, they're going to fold it and I guess the bigger people or the more competent will go to 135. Yeah. Look, it's, it's business, and uh, look, I don't ever want to see people lose their jobs, you know, but as a fan, I was never super excited about the 125-pound division. I never, it really just never got me going. Um, you know, even Demetrius Johnson, who was, you know, just so impressive for so long, whatever it was, and it's not just me, but a lot of people, he had really, he had trouble getting people behind him, and, you know, I don't, I don't even know what it is, I, you know, because that's not true with the case with like, I remember when the UFC brought back 155 pounds because they were at 170 for a while. You remember that, right? When um, when they brought BJ Penn back in, they basically created, they brought 155 back for BJ, I believe. Um, and I remember even thinking at the time, like, wow, 155ers are a lot smaller than these other guys. And it was kind of hard to wrap my head around. But then the stars emerge and, you know, we've seen it straight on down to 135 pounds. With 125, for some reason, DJ, who was unbeatable for a long time, was never able to break through, and it never got. And if the champion can't break through, who is d debatably pound for pound best in the world, a lot, most people agree, most experts agree, then what chances anybody else have at 125 pounds? I agree. I fully agree. And because I even mentioned this yesterday in said conversation that was taking place with the anonymous person that shall not be named, I was like, yeah, but. Honestly, the flyweight division doesn't bring a lot of excitement. And that's just what it is. And this person countered with a very good point. Say, hold on a minute. So you're telling me you're going to get rid of 125 pound men, but you're going to keep 125 pound women? Because I tell you what, I the two of them, no disrespect, I'd rather watch 125 pound men than women. But, you know. Yeah, but it's just like 125 pound women are sort of 100. There's like middleweight for women, sort of. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, you know, the women are only, it only goes up to 145. So it's just a little bit different, you know? Um, it's an exact. It was a little analogy. experiment by the UFC. It was a little experiment by the UFC, I guess. You know, because as you said, I remember 155 came in and then they were like, should we do 45? And they're like, okay, then. 35? Are there even men that weigh that little? I don't even think we can find and, and a man then, that and small. Then one, and then one day somebody went, what about 125ers? And they were like, oh my God, you mean 12-year-old boys? Yeah. Fuck it, let's go. Uh, and listen, there's some fantastic <laughs> talent in there. Demetrius Cejudo, 
Demetrius, uh, Benavides. I have an idea. We're going to get leprechauns from the St. Paddy's Day Parade to fight in the cage. This will be hilarious. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, the, the, they've, they've got rid of them. So, if you performed in the flyweight division in the UFC, well done. Congratulations. And uh, I hope you find a new home, either at Bantamweight or maybe at One, One FC or, or, or wherever. Wherever. I mean, do you God think it's you. as unemotional as they just have somebody in the back offices now and they are crunching numbers, putting them through their special finance algorithms? And I'm sure they have all the best people in the world. And they go, all right, there is no path to victory here for 125 pounds to be a profitable division. We've done all the math. We've put it in every, we've spoken to all the experts. It's just not going to happen. And at that point, they go, cool, we're not losing money. We're in the business of not making money. Fuck that. It's over. Well, they had, well, of course, I mean, Dem Demetrius Johnson is on everybody's pound for pound list as one of the best. He's got a pretty decent personality. He's pretty outgoing. Contrary to a lot of 125ers, he's a finisher. He finishes a lot of fights. We've seen some spectacular finishes at the last second. We saw the suplex to armbar. We've seen a lot of great stuff. And the guy has a personality as well, and he talks. So, uh, and even still, he, you know, he, he wasn't a draw. So I guess at some point you've got to draw a line in the sand and say, okay, that's not working. We'll move on. You know, and it, it is a shame for those guys. All jokes aside, it is a shame for those guys, and I wish them all the best.